Okay, so this video is about Ender's guppies. Ender's guppies, we, we talked about this as an idea of natural selection and sexual selection. Um, so there are a couple of things you can set up here. So this is the number of guppies you start with. This is the, num the frequency of the spots. These are the mutations. And this is to adjust the female preference for, for colors. Um, so the idea with this is, this is where you can kind of modify sexual selection, basically. And then brood size, this is how many guppies are born. Um, guppy K, I think is the, the carrying capacity, if I remember right. And mortality is is kind of is the death rate. So these are the number, these are the predators. So remember, one of these is a more aggressive predator. One's less aggressive. And these, this is how you would modify like natural selection. And then the runtime, this is how long you want to run the model. Um, so you can set these all up. And then this is some of the data you can collect. The, uh, the number of generations, number of guppies, the average number of spots, and the standard deviation of those spots. So standard deviation, remember, is, is variation. Um, so you can set this all stuff up, and you go and you can run this again a couple of generations remember these these were run for quite a few generations and you can see how the various things change as you do this so there's lots of variables here you can change um and also theoretically lots of control variables the, down here are if you look at the model info it tells you what each of those report those are um sorry what each of those does and it allows it has a little explanation here which helps kind of explain the, the idea of the guppies and sexual selection and, and natural selection okay all right so that should kind of give you a little bit of an explanation and then what you're going to do is design your own experiment adjusting one of these ideas okay thank you